Welcome back into Victoria's Tarot. Today we are going to be looking at Rachel Morin. She is the young mother who was found along a jogging trail, I believe, on August 6th. And um, I don't believe anyone has been arrested for that. So I want to take a look into it to try to see what's going on in that case because I'm trying to get caught up on everything I can. But it's like, literally, somebody's missing every day. Oh, the energy. Just give me a second. Clarification to the situation of Rachel Moore. The ancestors were clarification to the situation of Rachel Moore. So I'm not yet aware of how many children boyfriend, husband. I don't know much about Rachel. I was just asked to see what I could get and that's what I'm going to do and share it with you. So the first card we have is the four of swords. We have the six of wands. We have justice in reverse and we have the two of cups. So, of course, this is a resting position. We know that's exactly where she is right now. We have the Six of Wands here in the upright, which tells us about someone being victorious or someone who inspires other, inspire others or being seen, someone who's being seen. The justice in reverse, those consequences... But justice in reverse is telling us there's some regret, karma, or something going on here with consequences, okay? Two of Cups coming next to it. This is showing us a romantic partner or a couple. So maybe somebody she was romantically involved with or... Was she involved with someone that was already in a relationship? Let's get clarity here. The hangman in reverse. So clarifying the four swords and we all know that she has passed on. This, for me, is going to be the change of view. Like, she's definitely somewhere else. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is feeling stuck. This is stuck energy. The Knight of Cups. This is an unexpected invite. Some type of message. It's also somebody romantically involved in the situation okay then we have the star card under this two of cups this romantic partner or this couple we have the star the star tells us about hope wishes granted healing after a traumatic experience so either a partner is healing or there's a couple out there <laughs> Involved and they call themselves healing. Wow. I want to try to get some more clarity for that. That's an interesting combo right there. judgment so we know that happened that's definitely her energy here three of pentacles <sighs> was she involved with somebody else's boyfriend this card even though the ages are different but there's two females and one male here the Three of Pentacles is telling us about teamwork. 
It's telling us about teamwork. The Nine of Wands here. This is our wounded soldier. Letting go of old battles or finishing what you started. Is this somebody from her past? Maybe somebody she was romantically involved with. Let's get drop my lighter. Maybe somebody she was romantically involved with had an issue. Letting go of past battles, old battles. The next card is the High Priestess. Hidden knowledge, dreams, visions, intuition. So either her partner knows something or there's a couple that knows something. We have teamwork here. We have people working together. Drop my cards and the Empress is on the bottom in reverse. Mm. Let's get some clarity on those cards. This is definitely her energy. It's the new, the new, new connections, new love. She's moved on. She's starting her new life. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Lying to yourself and others. There is more than one person involved in this. Page of Swords in the reverse. Rumors, broken promises, lies. Somebody heard something about somebody or something from the past. Six of swords in the reverse. See what I'm saying? Carrying baggage from your past. So here's what we're going to bank on. Either her partner knows more than what they're saying. Whoever that person is that speaks for her as her, her other half. Or there's a couple somewhere who knows some who knows some things and they're not saying anything about it I'm really feeling like there's a couple involved with her attack A lot of this is leading to the past. And there's teamwork here. Set aside her energy here where she is letting us know she has moved on. She is at rest. Judgment has come. And just reading this right here. Wow. So that's what I have from Rachel Morin. If you have anything else you could add to the reading to help me understand the reading. I don't know anything about this case. This mother, wife, girlfriend, whatever she is to whoever. I'm trying to figure it out with the people. And this is what I've come up with so far. And I will definitely be doing a second reading because... Now I'm hella interested in like this this here. Either this romantic partner or literally two people did this to this woman. And that's just crazy. Like jealous much. So that's what I have. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.